Howdy, I'm Tex. You're watching The Adventure Agents, and tonight, me and my boys are out hunting monsters, zombie eels, again. Oh my god! Look at those god. teeth! Only this time... Oh, oh, it's trying to bite my finger, yeah. yeah. I get infected. Look at those teeth. That's what bit me. So the most exciting part of this camping trip is that it is going to be Cedar's first overnight camping trip away from Mommy. Yay. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Let's yeah. go! Bye bye! I love you. Bye. I'm gonna miss you. So we just island hopped, took a short flight from Oahu to Maui. Now we're hitting Walmart to get some fishing, oh sorry, camping gear. I almost hit him in the face of the camera. <laughs> Thank you. Just had to check our stuff. All right, we got a Walmart trip tackled. Now we got to go get some groceries. Hey, hey. Free mint. Half day. <laughs> I want to eat a that big one. I want to have that big one. Hey, give it a big That's hug. That's It's a cow. <laughs> and now that we've hugged the cow, we're going to eat one. <laughs> Let go. Ow, stop kicking me. <laughs> What's up, Doc? <laughs> Alright, it's a 45 minute drive to our fishing spot. And this one is going to take a nap. Cedar's taking a nap back there and he's gonna need it because we're gonna be staying up late tonight hunting eels. The eels are nocturnal. We're gonna be hunting them in tide pools, which means that we're gonna have to wait till high tide, which is around eight o'clock at night. Oh, coconuts. I'll take two. Thank you so much, y'all have a good one. Ah, so we got some coconuts and sugar cane here. They gave us a pretty good deal. You wake? Mm. Really? Yes. So I made this PVC holder to carry our fishing poles and spears and it cracked on the plane. But I got T-Rex tape here. I'm gonna fix it up. Yeah, I think that's actually stronger than it was before. Uh-oh. Ah, that's who broke it. All right, we're packed up. We got a long hike ahead of us, but we're gonna have some coconut before we head out. I'm gonna drink some Oh my gosh. I want to drink. Is it good? Probably like the best cooking I've ever had. I know, yeah? Build your strength, young man. You're going to need it for the hike. I want to climb them. Those mountains? Oh, well, let's climb them someday. That's a good idea. Yes, I can spin them like, oh, that's good. Oh no. All right, you fall down. Stay on this trail, okay? We're hiking on a lava field and these rocks are really sharp and they'll really cut you good if you're not careful. Oh, good save. I fell down. You fell again. down you fell down again? I'm sorry. This is fun. That's pretty. Here, you made it to the flowers, gummy. I'm using these fruit gummies as a reward system for him. Take my hand. Ah, ah, I can't. Or just walk around, be very soft. He's a DIY kid. Are you tired yet? Not yet. Gummy break. There you go. They call them gummies, but they're really just pieces of dried up fruit with no added sugar. There's fish in there. Yeah, there's fish in that ocean. I want to fish for that. Oil. Yeah, but we're going to fish at a different spot. Just right over there. So adventuring with Cedar is the best. Most of the time he's out here, he's just hiking around, stopping, and he points and just talks to himself and narrates everything around him. It's really cute and very entertaining. Gummy time, gummy time. There you go. All right, dude, look, check it out, check it out. See those trees? That's where we're going. We're almost there. Don't fall down the hill. 
Dude. Gummy break. We made it, dude. This is where we're camping and fishing and eel hunting. Take my backpack off. You did so good. One last gummy. Give me five. Yeah. I am so proud of him. He's never hiked anywhere near that far. He did great. All right, so we're going to be eel hunting and fishing in this bay, but first things first, I am so hungry. We're going to cook up some grub. There are all, thousands of mosquitoes everywhere here. This is bad, you guys. Let's get to the ocean. Ah! It sounds exactly like that goat. Ah! So I brought several different methods for hunting eels out here. We got some spears, a net, and <laughs> believe it or not, I modified a rat trap <laughs> with some nails here. Maybe we could catch an eel on that. We'll give it a shot. But we're gonna need some bait for the eels, and for that, we're gonna try to catch some fish out here in the ocean. And also, if we catch some good fish, we can eat that too. So let's get our poles in the water. So Cedar here is gonna fish in these little pools right here. You gonna try to catch a fish right here? I actually caught an eel under this rock once, so <laughs> we'll see. Maybe he'll catch an eel too. So Cedar, if you see an eel, do you touch it? Yeah. No. Not unless it's dead, because it can bite you, okay? Mm -hmm. You digging for gold in there? No. No? <laughs> no gold in there? something in there. There's something in there? Mm -hmm. Find it? No. Oh, okay. I got a bay fish. Uh, I don't catch it at all. A rockfish. This is a pole pa. That'll work great for eel bait. Oh. All right, I got one. Nice. This is actually good eating. I saw it. Oh, I did. I saw it. So we can actually eat this fish. It's delicious. It's called a black spotted sergeant. I'm gonna cut its head off. Ooh. Pull its guts out. So this is good to eat, and that, my friends, is perfect eel bait. Got another keeper here. We're gonna use it to catch an eel. Oh, and the eel eat that fish. Yeah, the eel's gonna try to eat it, but then we're gonna catch the eel. Does that sound fun? Yeah. All right, let's do it. So I've tied this piece of a fish to a string and attached it to this large piece of coral. What these eels do is they come in from the ocean over there in their hiding places, and they come into these tide pools trying to catch anything they can that's unaware, like a crab walking around or a little stranded fish. Eels are incredible predators. So the eel will smell that and come in, grab it. Eel trap number one, set. Oh, uh, no, 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 no! Uh-oh. Oh, it's okay. it's okay. So the next eel trap is this gnarly rat trap that I set up. And uh, the idea is the trap will flop down when the eel tries to get the fish bait here and it'll skewer the eel on those spikes there. So, we'll see. This is dangerous. This can hurt you really badly, okay? All right, so the rat trap converted to an eel trap is set here. I got a paracord tied to this rock, so if it wiggles free, hopefully it won't get away. <laughs> so I just saw the first eel of the night. It was trying to grab this uh, piece of bait right here on the hook. So, let's leave that alone and see if the little eel will come back and get it. There's an eel right here. It's getting some of our bait. Yeah. You got it? You got it? Alright, I got one. Oh. That's a good one. That's gonna be delicious. Okay, it's yeah, got that. Right. Here, here, hold this camera. I can stab it in the head hard. I got it good. I'm gonna toss it up on the shore. Okay? Stay back, okay, Cedar? Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Okay, got it. Is it dead? No, it's not dead. Okay. Dude, we got an eel. You want to see it? Yeah. Okay, come over here. Come over here. I don't know. Is it dead? I do not believe this thing is dead. That, that was so quick. I did not expect it to get an eel this fast. Oh, no. Oh. It's not dead. No. Nope. 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 No, it's very much alive. Look at those. Uh, it doesn't have any teeth, really. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It has teeth. Why? Oh, my gosh. This oh. thing is so beautiful. Look at that. I wow. Oh, uh, I Food. This thing looks delicious. I want to eat that and cook it. Yeah, you want to eat it and cook it? Yeah. All right. I'm trying to kill it. it. It's so tough. It's like bulletproof armor. There it is. 
All right. Through the skull. Okay. Whoa. Oh my. Look at it. It's going, look at it through the throat. All right, dude, we got an eel. What? What do you think of that? What? Cook it. You want to cook it and eat it? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm so blown away. I can't believe we already got an eel. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> that little eel that we had, saw earlier must have come and stole the bait right off this hook. Smart thing, man. All right, so that thing set off the rat trap here. It is a shame, though. I was really hoping to test that rat trap out, but we'll have to test it out another time. What are you doing? I'm washing it off. You guys, the eel just bit me. Uh, I foolishly put my finger in the eel's mouth. It's been like 30 minutes. How in the world is this still alive? It hadn't moved in so long, and I, I was trying to see its teeth. I was pulling back its gum to see its teeth. It just went like that and just bit me. I was just reading up on how dangerous these things can be with bacteria. I can't believe I did that. I just thought there's no way this thing is still alive. And it probably still isn't alive. It just probably has some kind of reaction when it feels something in its mouth. What happened? The eel bit me. Mm. He's asked that like six times in the past few minutes. What happened? Oh my! Look at that. that blood. What happened? The eel bit me. The eel bit me. Mm. What happened? The eel bit me. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> when you be on it, what happened? It's just the eel bit me. Mm. Yeah. What happened? What happened? Uh, the eel bit him. The eel bit you? Yeah, the eel bit me. What happened? What happened? Alright, so <laughs> there's another big eel down here. This time you should just grab it's it. It's huge. This time you should just grab its head with your uh, other good hand. It's right here. Okay, oh my gosh. Look at that thing. That thing. Sheesh. Woo. That is a monster right there. That's a nasty monster. Holy huge, that's a lot bigger. Oh, it's caught. Oh, that's the same one we caught last time. Really? Yeah, it's the same kind. Except it's a lot bigger. Well, no, it's not bigger than that one. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, no. So I threaded a fishing line through a hunk of fish. No, through a I, hook. Through a hook, Remember? and I left it. It's hooked. No, it's not hooked. Oh. It's not it's a hook. Oh, oh, it got off. Okay. Oh my gosh, that thing is huge. Look at that. All right, we're going to get another eel. Oh, oh check that thing out. Whoa, now that's an eel. Oh my gosh. Look at those gosh. teeth. Woo. Oh, yikes. Okay. Holy. Okay, yeah. I'll get it again. No, you don't want to hold that one. No, sir. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, you get it. I can stab it again. Okay. Should I stab it again right there? Uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's going to try to get away. Yeah. It's throwing up the fish. Oh my gosh. It's throwing up the fish. See that? It threw up the fish head. You see that eel? Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. That's pretty crazy, man. That is bigger than the first one, right? Okay. Oh, there we go. Holy. Wow, look at that thing. Oh, that thing is gnarly. Look at that. Yeah, it's still alive. It's All like, right. I will eat your soul. I gotta keep this finger away from those teeth, but look at them. Oh, oh it's trying to bite my finger, yeah. Uh, no, your friend already did the job here. I really don't want to cut its head off because it's so much easier to skin. There we go. Look at this. I can't. I literally can't. That's crazy, man. Yeah, the muscles on these eels, they're like boa constrictors. It's intense. This eel is still alive, you guys. Uh, look at that. Look at that. That That is not... No, that is alive. No way. Look at that. That is alive. Alive, alive. Look at that. It's biting, biting. It's so much easier to skin them with their heads on, but I'm just going to have to cut their heads off. All right. These eels truly are zombies, you guys. It's bizarre how they can be stabbed through the skull several times. I stabbed it through the skull like four or five times. It just lives without its brain somehow, I guess. I don't know. All right, now they're dead, I think. But I'm still not going to stick my finger in this one's mouth. <laughs> Look at the difference in teeth. The teeth are really, really sticking out on this one, but they're hidden in this one. You can only see them. Look at that. 
it's still biting. Whoa! Holy! That had some power in that bite. It's biting this with enough force to bite right into my finger just like it did before. And its head is cut off. That blows my mind. Mad respect to these eels. Look at those teeth. That's what bit me. No wonder it just shredded my finger. You wanna see something really creepy. This is the second pair of jaws. See those teeth? Top and bottom. It's second pair of jaws inside of the eel's stomach. So that whenever it feeds something in, it can grab it with, it's like having another little snake inside your throat that pulls stuff down into your stomach. Bizarre creatures. I can't even, look at that. I'm trying to clean this and it's just wiggling around. I can't clean this thing. It won't let me. It's fighting to get away from me. It's trying to slither away. Its head is gone and it's still doing this. It kind of makes me feel better though about the suffering thing. I thought it was suffering, but evidently it wasn't. It's just all these nerves are just going crazy still. All right, well, a big success tonight. We got two eels. Really, really awesome. What are you doing, dude? I'm drinking the water. So Cedar's occupied watching Outdoor Boys. He was getting a little freaked out of the dark out here. So we're distracting him. Eels are definitely the hardest thing that I have ever cleaned. But I bought these pliers right here. This is what I used to skin catfish with. And look at that. Skin is coming off. What are you doing? I'm cleaning the eel so we can eat it. But it won't stop moving, even though it's already dead. It's, this is creeping me out. <laughs> All right, we got one beautiful eel fillet here. What happened? I got an eel fillet. I will eat some. All right. Again, eat some. Yeah. I want to hang out. So oh boy. I have the quad. What is the quad? Oh, Axel's getting everything set up in the tent. Thank you, Axel. So as you probably noticed, I'm using my spearhead to pin this in here so I can clean it easily. It'd be nice if you could get the cooking going. Um, so last time we fried an eel out here, we did cassava flour and coconut oil. This time we're gonna do sprouted corn flour and ghee. Yeah, be careful, don't trip over it. We're going to put the eel in the egg, and then we're going to put the eel in the corn. And then we're going to go like... That's what we're going to... Looking good. Oh. I think that's ready. Oh, yeah. Let's get another one in there. Yeah. Right, uh, that looks amazing. Amazing. Look at that fire! Oh, my gosh. I want to eat that, that right good. now. Okay, hold on. Just wait. All right, you guys, so some two gentlemen here some state policemen just came out to check on us they were so nice they saw a maroon car in the parking lot they're like mm, we want to make sure everything's okay what's your name i'm corey corey good to meet you corey nice to meet you roger and roger we really my wife trinity she was like really skeptical about me taking this guy out here this is his first overnight camping trip without her and i was like it's gonna be fine she's like yeah but sometimes there's some characters out there and knowing that these two fellas are coming out here checking on us, that's gonna make her feel better about if we do this stuff in the future. So anyways, thank you so much. We really appreciate yeah, no it worries. coming and checking on us. <laughs> All right, y'all. Yeah, my... Oh, that hurt. I just, oh. <laughs> what happened? You don't want to know, that hurt. Wow. All right, well, that was so nice of them to come all the way out here to check on us. And they actually watched the show. They uh, they watched the, the Mongoose episode we did. Thank you, state troopers. That's eel one, this is eel two. Okay, hold on real quick, because it has uh, bones in it. So let me help you. Mm. Let's try that. That is amazing. Try that I, I try it. You like it? You do? Okay. This is amazing. <laughs> try that. Oh, that's amazing. Mm. Oh my gosh. I, I haven't had a McDonald's chicken nugget in so long, pieces. but that tastes like a McDonald's chicken nugget, <laughs> or like I remember they taste. Oh my! Is it good? It's so mm -hmm. good. That is the best eel. That's yeah, way better. That's, that's better than the other eel. eel. Uh, so I'm gonna bag up the rest of this eel and put it on ice. Ooh, so we can save it for later. That thing is gigantic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is like the biggest roach I've ever it's seen. It's got a massive piece of the eel in its mouth. What a monster. <laughs> oh. It's 
So this is homemade marshmallows <laughs> that we made at home, believe it or not. Oh, okay, it's pretty melty. Oh, careful. These marshmallows are delicious. They just melt right in your mouth. Mm. <laughs> They're good, huh? Cedar's listening to a story right now that I told him a while and I recorded on my phone. Parenting tip, record stories on your phone that you tell your kids and they can listen to it later. And if something ever happens to you, they'll have special memories of stories you recorded. Wow, this is a first me. This first aid kit comes with a razor blade. That's crazy. I've never seen that before, but I always thought that that would be a good idea. I'm gonna apply pressure and hurry up and stick the band-aid on. And that is a good band-aid. All right, well, Cedar's asleep, and Axe and I are going to play a little of this game that we got. But I want to talk about something real quick. So we're doing this because, well, we enjoy doing this. But we're also doing it a little bit in memory of a very special little goat. Some of y'all may remember from an episode a while back where we came out to the same place and did the survival deal, Little Shadow, the goat. The orphan goat that we found out here. He was a twin. He had a, a sister. We found both of them. His sister ended up dying. Um, but uh, we took him out here and it was so much fun and I'm just thinking about that night when we were in the tent playing video games and Shadow's there eating my hair and eating Axe's hair. <laughs> we had to let him go. We had to give him to this uh, place that takes in orphan animals. What do you think Shadow? You got all these friends. Look at that. Look at that buddy. Oh my gosh. And within a few days he ended up dying so. That's a dragon for Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> so anyways, we miss Shadow. Shadow was a great goat, but uh, hey, it's just life. Life and death, right? Alright, we're gonna play a little bit of this and then we're gonna go to sleep. I am tired. All that eel hunting puckered me out. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. How did you sleep? Good. Good? I did not. I forgot Cedar's camping mat, so we only had two mats. <laughs> It was, it was a rough night's sleep. You want some food? Yeah. All right, let's get some breakfast going. Good morning. Good night. That little piece wasn't good. But... We got some apple and cheese for Cedar's pre-breakfast snack here. I need to eat some. But what are you doing? My pre-breakfast snack is papaya, banana, and honey. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Alright dude, you want to make sausages for breakfast or you want to go try to catch some fish? Yeah. What? I want to catch some fish. I want to play on there. Come on over here. Yeah, unfortunately with all the craziness last night, the tide must have swept away our black spotted sergeants. So, otherwise we could eat those this morning. They went somewhere. What happened? We lost our fish. Well, fishing pole broke. Boo. Mm, you got it? Yeah. A little crab. Yeah. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Oh, that's a hermit crab. What happened? Did it pinch you? No, yeah. I knew that was going to happen, but I knew it was going to hurt him that bad, so I was like, I want to let him experience a crab pinch, you know? First crab pinch on the first overnight camping trip with Dad. You'll remember that forever. So back up breakfast is sausages and eggs. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm making sausages. I want to eat these. Yeah, okay. I want to look at some. It's sand in my eggs and it hurts my eggs. There you go, push it. I want to eat some right now. It burns me. I'm very short. Looks like you have poison ivy or something like that. That's horrible. It's worse than poison ivy. It's just mosquitoes. I do. Did you eat all your breakfast? Mm -hmm. Want a marshmallow? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> so we're rolling up the mats and Cedar insists on helping me. Because you're a big helper dude, right? Yeah. Thanks, man. That's the kind of camper you want mm -hmm. to take with you. The kind that wants to help out. What are we doing? Wind out here is so strong right now. And if you don't watch it, it'll blow you right over into these lava rocks. Gummy 
we break. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, so check this out. Do you see the gigantic centipede right there, right where Cedar fell? It was actually crawling towards him, and none of us noticed this. I'm just now noticing it in post-production while I'm editing the video. That is absolutely insane. I can't believe none of us noticed it. And it was actually crawling towards him, as you can see here. He is so lucky that that centipede did not bite him. He was this close to getting bitten. Those things are very aggressive, and man, they pack a punch. That would have ruined his camping trip. So glad that that did not happen. Come on up here, I'll help you up. Oh, how'd you do? You okay? Yeah. All right, good job. He's a trooper. Careful, oh my gosh, dude. Hey, we don't wanna to go too fast. You okay? Yeah. All right, don't run, okay, don't, don't run. I just love him. He's so fun. He's so strong. He's so resilient. Really proud of him. So happy to have him on this camping trip. You stuck? <laughs> you got quite a bit of weight in that pack. What's that you got in your hand? This. What's it? What is it called? Treasure. That's treasure? Mm -hmm. Gummy break. Okay. Gummy break. You're doing good, man. We're almost to the car. It's just over that hill. What happened? This knee. That knee. You scraped that knee, too. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Dude, you're just getting destroyed, man. You got one right, oh, one right there. And one right there. You're going to have some stories to tell Mama when you get back, right? Yeah. That pack is throwing him off balance, and he's falling a lot more. But, uh, he hasn't asked me to C-A-R-R-Y him even once this whole time, so I'm so proud of him. There's the cars, dude. We're almost there. Oh, it's so good. Hydrate. Hey, Cedar, you did good, dude. Give me five. You hiked a long way all by yourself. Your daddy didn't even carry you. Yeah. Nice, good work. She's like, oh crap, I forgot to ask you to carry me. <laughs> Darn it, I didn't know that was an option, Dad. Come on, there we go. There's this little pier right here, close by. Highly doubt we're gonna catch fish here, but I wanna give it a try for Cedar's sake. This water is super muddy. I highly doubt we're gonna catch a fish here. There's a boat over here that it looks like it got beached. So do you wanna go see the boat or do you wanna keep fishing? Okay, and then uh, after that, we're, we're gonna go get some uh, snow cone, okay? Okay, all right. I'm sorry we couldn't catch fish, Cedar, but we'll try again some other day, okay? Wow. Halo structures. Look at that. Must have been just washed up in a storm or something. Wow. It's leaning this way, so we're going to stay on this side of it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Are right, you ready to go get a snow cone and fly home and see mommy? Okay, let's do it. You had to think about that one for a minute. <laughs> I can't see them making it. Thank you. We are in a big rush. We're gonna miss our flight if we don't hurry. Uh, are you excited? Yeah. yeah, there you go. We might miss our flight. Ugh. I'm enjoying mine at the stoplight. <laughs> ah, brain freeze. Oh, my brain. I've never had any problems with that. <laughs> All right, so we just dropped off the rental car and we're headed to the trolley. I don't want to miss this plane. I miss my best friend, Trinity. I want to go home and see her. So we got to hurry. No, the trolley just left. We're going to have to wait for the next one. All right, let's go. 
Baggage checked. We gotta run to the plane. We're coming, Trinity. <laughs> Don't smack at me. What are you doing? Ow. Hey, I'm not a drum. All right, Southwest just called us. They're like, where are you guys? <laughs> We're gonna make it. I'm gonna make my way. <laughs> are you excited to see mommy? <laughs> me too. Thank you. Oh, you guys, I left the eel at TSA. I had a cooler bag with ice with all the rest of the eel meat. And I left it at TSA just now. But it's too late, I gotta go. We can't miss this flight. Thank you, sorry. Watch your head, watch your head, watch your head. So tell me. Uh, go on the hike and the eel what? bit daddy. The eel bit daddy? Yeah, they had teeth. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's shredded. I me. warned daddy. So I'm so <laughs> glad that it wasn't your finger. You didn't put your finger in his mouth? Mm. Oh, that's a good high five. I just didn't want to <laughs> and, um, I'm so proud of you for camping with the big guys. Down low. To the side. <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, we are back at home. That was quite the adventure. Trinity actually predicted that someone <laughs> would get bitten by the eel, and I was like, "No." Nah. In order to get bitten, they would have to put their finger in the in, eel's mouth. And that wouldn't happen. That is not going to happen. But I did keep Cedar safe. I yes, kept which him I was the most thankful from for. getting bitten by an eel and that was my number one I, job. I just sighed a sigh of relief when you told me that it was you <laughs> it who got bit me. by the eel. <laughs> Alright, I know a lot of you are like, okay, when are you going to reveal the new member of the family the sex? Sack of potatoes. Yeah, Is it a person? Or... <laughs> I don't know, do they exist? You are going to have the opportunity to meet them, but you're going to have to click the link in the description down below to a video that Trinity made of the birth. This video also is a little bit more intense than the other birth yes. videos we've shared previously, right. which is a big reason why we are sharing it on Wild and True. We still consider it to be family friendly, mm -hmm. but you know, That's it's up, up to you. you. But it is, it is a bit more intense than if our previous have... birth videos. The one that Cedar that we posted on Adventure Agents and River on the Axel again. Show. Go check out that video and subscribe to the Wild and True channel. We're going to be sharing more personal family stuff there. More personal family yeah. adventures. Adventures, yes. Yeah. All right. Well, remember, Till next time, life's an adventure. And love is the key. And love is a who. And love loves you. We'll see you on the next adventure. Bye. Bye.